Over the last two years, hands-on equations effectiveness has been studied in 17 states, 155 classrooms with over 2,800 students, including LD, ESL, and inner city students. Dr. Barber has seen firsthand how this program affects student learning. And I call it the light bulb effect, where all of a sudden you realize they went this, aha, I know what this is, and switched from being non-participants to being in control of their own learning. We have studied children at third grade through the eighth grade. We've studied uh, children who are considered special education. We've studied children who are extremely high functional. In those 155 studies, the vast majority of them, 95 percent of them or more, show statistically significant gains between the pretest and the post-test. Here are some recent research results for grade four students in Broward County, Florida. The numbers in column A show the percentage of fourth graders who had the example correct on the pretest. The numbers in column B show the percentage of students who had a similar example correct on a retention test administered three weeks after the completion of the first seven lessons of hands-on equations. The students did not use the game pieces on the retention test. Hands-on equations also enhances student self-esteem. It is amazing with my kids. My, my lower level kids pop right into it. That's when they first feel success with math. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, the kids are developing a lot of self-esteem with this program and, it, and it's great to see them feel so successful at something. And hands-on equations provide students with a solid foundation in basic algebra. Algebra is a gateway to higher level math. It's a gateway to also to college. So by having students be able to understand how to solve equa multi-step equations and also solving equations on both sides, then that will allow them to have more confidence going into the higher level math. There are many ways to solve this problem. Let's start out by eliminating the green six. By understanding the processes of algebra, students gain the mathematical power that increases their interest in learning math. Now we can remove this red and green six because together they have a zero weight. 10 and a 9 equals 19. Okay. Okay. Ten. I think the thing that I like best about it is the fact that it appeals to probably 99.9% .9 of all of the kids that I teach. 